Although lithium ion batteries are currently the best choice for electric vehicles on the market, their drawbacks have prompted the entire automotive industry to pursue an alternative technology. As automakers continue to invest in solid state battery research, graphene battery technology has emerged as a promising next step that could revolutionize the way your electric vehicle operates. What breakthrough brought this technology to the EV market? Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. Graphene, an atomic carbon layer in a honeycomb lattice structure, has shown outstanding potential in shaping future technology. Remember, it's a carbon layer, something we'll touch upon towards the end of today's episode. But first, consider its properties, which bring significant improvements in power, capacity, longevity, and safety speed of batteries, making it an ideal candidate for electric vehicle applications. One of the earliest adopters of graphene and advanced technology systems, China is also the first country to deploy nanotechnology-based EV batteries on roads. Progress has been made over the past few years, thanks to the GAC Group. Bold claims have been made regarding battery performance when utilized in electric vehicle technology, with charging times of up to 80% in just 8 minutes and a range up to 600 miles. Charging times and ranges may vary among different vehicle models, but premium 6C charging systems clearly can achieve this level of performance. Of course, with many things coming from China, there is a certain level of skepticism regarding not only battery claims, but also the quality of graphene used. As more of these types of vehicles hit the market, more information about this type of battery can be clarified, and performance may vary in different driving environments. Currently, the performance of graphene batteries seems very promising. The commercialization of the first graphene EV battery has attracted a lot of attention and has since opened up opportunities for the application of various other nano-improved batteries, as well as the use of graphene batteries in other technologies. Fundamentally, graphene is a two-dimensional material consisting of a flat plane of carbon atoms. As you know, it makes up 12% of your body. But unlike that, the carbon atoms are arranged in a true honeycomb lattice structure only one atom thick making it very unique. Unlike other layered materials, graphene consists of atoms arranged in a plane, making it truly two-dimensional. When these two-dimensional layers are stacked on top of each other into multiple layers, it forms graphite, something most people recognize as the material of pencils. In other words, if graphite is a deck of cards, then graphene is a single card. It's important to note that graphene in these battery types will go into the electrodes at the end of the battery not the electrolyte in the middle. Meanwhile, lithium-ion batteries power mobile phones, tablets, and even the electric vehicles you use. Officially, the world is being powered by lithium-ion. However, nothing's entirely perfect. Lithium-ion is good enough, but they have a drawback we encounter with this type of battery, which is safety. It can heat up and potentially catch fire when exposed to improper configuration temperatures. We've surely heard about millions of mobile phones catching fire in bags every day. They've become safer over the years, but it always comes at the cost of an integrated cooling system inside, making the design more complex, heavier, and more expensive. This has led to a decrease in battery pack density. What are the advantages of graphene batteries when used in EVs? Graphene electrodes have demonstrated significantly better electrical conductivity compared to the electrodes currently used in mass-produced lithium-ion batteries. In other words, they are more efficient in extracting electricity from the battery during use and pushing electricity into the battery during charging. With graphene, electricity can flow into the battery much more easily than with previous electrode designs. This leads to the biggest advantage that regular electric vehicle buyers would care about, faster charging times. Based on the battery block diagram of lithium manganese oxide batteries, 33% of the weight comprises the negative electrode, and 15% comprises the positive electrode made of graphite or carbon. By using theoretical values for graphene, we could reduce the weight down to 9% for the positive electrode. Instead, we could use that weight for the negative electrode, increasing it to 39%, resulting in an 18% increase in energy density. 
This means a standard Tesla Model Y with a range of 260 miles could potentially improve to 306 miles. Although the weight doesn't increase, this is a departure from current lithium-ion battery technology. Furthermore, what's interesting is that we have 11% copper and 19% aluminum in the graphene battery block, which are the electrodes where electrons move through. Aluminum is located at the negative electrode despite being less conductive than copper because copper reacts with lithium in unfavorable ways, whereas copper is used as a current collector at the positive electrode. This combination ultimately leads to an advantage of graphene battery technology in terms of conductivity. Copper is believed to have conductivity over 200 times higher than the graphite positive electrode. But if we replace the graphite positive electrode with graphene, the conductivity of this type of battery is improved by 333 times compared to graphite and even surpasses copper by 68%. The result obtained from this technology is a reduction in weight as we no longer need copper. Future research will allow for the creation of graphene negative electrode to further reduce the aluminum content and increase energy density even more. Fast charging. There have been extensive studies delving into the positive electrode of batteries not requiring any specific graphene material with a new component in the block being silicon, capable of storing lithium ion over 10 times more than graphite. Meanwhile, Tesla's batteries have some silicon at the positive electrode to improve the range of Tesla vehicles by 16%. Although graphene isn't a king in the lineage, it possesses a very distinct characteristic, thermal conductivity. The combination of high thermal and electrical conductivity has resulted in the greatest benefit of this type of battery ultra fast charging. Imagine you can recharge an electric vehicle up to 80% in eight minutes, and today's figures could be up to 40 minutes for a partial charge with lithium ion. This corresponds to the time it takes for a gasoline powered car to refuel at a station. And that's what graphene battery manufacturers are aiming for, as seen in the promotion of their new vehicle models by companies like China's GAC. Notably, electric vehicle technology using this type of battery can provide a range of up to 620 miles and is compatible with 6C charging. To better understand, 1C represents the ability to charge or discharge from 0 to 100% in one hour. And for 6C, it means you can accomplish charging it in just 10 minutes. This is a limiting factor when we want to compare the breakthrough between two models. No battery can achieve maximum efficiency of 100%. So the excess energy during charging will be converted into heat. We can consider the thermal conductivity of various materials used in current battery technology, such as graphite, aluminum, copper, and graphene. We can see aluminum conducts heat 1.6 times better than graphite. Copper conducts heat 2.7 times better than graphite, which is why copper is mostly used in electrical wiring systems and electronic devices due to its affordability. However, graphene surpasses them all. It is 23 times better than graphite. This makes graphene advantageous for batteries, with most of the heat being drawn out through cooling strips. Thanks to the significant influence of Tesla, we've witnessed a sharp decline in lithium battery prices over the past decade. In 2010, the cost for one kilowatt hour was 1200 US dollars, and now it's dropped all the way to $139, driven by EV technology. This has stimulated the emergence of more battery manufacturing plants in the market. However, the development of lithium battery technology has also led to a steep increase in lithium prices during the golden age of electric vehicle technology in 2022. This has prompted car manufacturers like Tesla to have the capability to entirely replace their current battery technology. Long lifespan and safety. Graphene batteries can potentially have a much longer lifespan compared to traditional batteries, with some prototypes indicating a lifespan up to five times longer than lithium ion batteries. This is due to the high stability of graphene material, which does not degrade as quickly as other battery materials. Because the electrodes made from graphene conduct electricity very well, they don't heat up as much as the electrodes currently used in today's batteries, which convert a significant portion of energy into heat. Sometimes this heat generation is intentionally utilized, such as in the red hot wires inside an electric oven. Other times, this additional heat buildup is undesired, such as in EV batteries. 
This means that batteries made from graphene are less prone to overheating compared to previous EV battery designs. Of course, electric vehicles are already less prone to fire or explosion risks compared to gas-powered vehicles. Most electric vehicles running on the roads in the U.S. are equipped with lithium-ion batteries. They're powerhouses, providing energy for our smartphones and laptops. When EV batteries get too hot, they're susceptible to a thermal runaway. This chemical reaction can be triggered by a fault in the battery or some external damage. In severe cases, it can lead to the battery catching fire or exploding. The indication and intensity of lithium-ion battery fires can stem from various causes, including user behavior such as improper charging or physical damage. How does temperature in cold climates affect this battery technology? All vehicles experience decreased efficiency in extremely cold weather. However, EV drivers are particularly concerned about this because lower efficiency means reduced driving range. For electric vehicle owners in colder climates, such as the northern regions of the US and Canada, driving behavior and daily battery charging must be adjusted during the winter months. As previously analyzed, the presence of graphene in batteries helps evenly distribute heat across the cells due to its high thermal conductivity. You can imagine that when heating one end of a piece of copper, it takes some time for the other end of the copper to heat up, whereas the honeycomb molecular structure of graphene, heat is shared more efficiently among the molecules, preventing the loss of battery efficiency. When temperatures drop significantly, electric vehicle drivers need to consider more than just defrosting the windshield. Winter weather can pose a challenge for batteries, but knowing the reasons and how to prepare is key to keeping your vehicle running smoothly. In extremely cold weather, chemical reactions that generate electricity can slow down, reducing battery performance. It is estimated that the driving range of vehicles using lithium batteries will decrease by 20% when the temperature drops to 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Increased energy consumption is also a major issue when driving electric vehicles in colder temperatures. The vehicle's heating system needs to draw power from the battery, reducing the effective driving range. Lithium ion batteries operate optimally within a specific temperature range, typically between 15 and 25 degrees Celsius. When exposed to cold temperatures, chemical reactions slow down, leading to reduced battery storage and energy supply capabilities. This phenomenon is often referred to as cold weather delay. One of the most noticeable impacts of cold weather on electric vehicle batteries is reduced driving range. Decreased battery efficiency results in lower energy output, meaning fewer kilometers per charge. This can be a concern for electric vehicle owners, especially in harsh winter climates, as the actual driving range can significantly decrease compared to advertised ranges, sometimes by up to 50% in extreme cases. What are the challenges in expanding graphene battery production? Currently, graphene is extremely expensive and difficult to purify. While graphite is relatively easy to obtain on an industrial scale, it's very difficult to extract graphene from it. Labs have removed layers of graphene from graphite with tapes, but that obviously won't work to create enough graphene to power the entire electric vehicle industry. Several other processes for producing graphene have been developed, but none's ready for use in a factory. Furthermore, graphite is very delicate when spread thinly. You can imagine you're writing a poem with a pencil and then trying to lift the entire line off the page. Graphene is literally as thin as graphite because it's only one atom thick. These difficulties have not stopped the auto industry from toying with graphene the same way they developed solid state EV batteries by throwing a lot of money at someone else to solve the problem. Most notably, Stellantis has partnered with Silicon Valley-based materials company like Litton Incorporated to turn graphene into something usable in cars. And of course, like any Silicon Valley company, they use the word disruptive at least 40 times on their website. Like solid-state batteries, graphene batteries sound perfect and almost magical in theory, but they are extremely difficult to turn into reality. For one thing, physics always makes things more difficult when dealing with extreme conditions outside the testing room. On the other hand, inventing battery technology and mass producing it are two completely different issues. Although scientists may be able to successfully build one or two prototype batteries, but one cannot simply scale up their method the same way one doubles the ingredients in a cookie recipe. It's easy to separate small pieces of this one atom thick carbon material, but it's difficult to produce large sheets for commercial purposes. 
Graphene's so elegant, it's made from a single element, carbon, formed by just one type of bond. Despite graphene's apparent simplicity, isolating the material remains elusive to chemists and physicists alike. Graphene is very good at hiding in plain sight, and the technologies and instrumentation perfected over the past two decades have played a key role in its discovery. There's also the issue of money. Even if some group of scientists come up with a solid state battery made from graphene that weighs 11 pounds, is as small as a sandwich, and can go thousands of miles on a single charge, the technological miracle, so it's still useless unless humans can afford it. After all, if costs weren't an issue, people would regularly fly across the ocean on expensive Concorde planes. What's so revolutionary about graphene, a material made up of 100% carbon? Hasn't carbon literally been around forever? Carbon is one of the basic ingredients of life and is found in abundance everywhere in the world, making it the fourth most abundant element on the planet. Meanwhile, graphene is exactly the material that researchers need to provide solutions for our growing and expanding global community in the 21st century. Worldwide attention is focused on eliminating the use of petrochemicals, reducing CO2 emissions, and finding greener ways of producing electricity. We need to feed, clothe, and shelter and power billions of people, and we need to do it responsibly and efficiently. So graphene is ready to make this happen. Today, there are no other materials that can match the properties of graphene. Its strength, electrical conductivity, thermal conductivity, surface area, and filtering ability are unparalleled. Graphene has opened the door to new environmentally friendly solutions that before its discovery were simply not feasible. The search for clean, green, renewable energy sources dominates discussions across all industries. The energy needs of the global population are growing, especially as major population centers like India and China increase their demand for electricity, automobiles, and technology. The harsh reality is that we will not be able to power and connect our world with existing energy sources, so new solutions are crucial. Even though lithium-ion batteries are now the standard for electric vehicles, many car buyers don't think they're good enough to replace the motor. Long charging times, compared to pumping gas and shorter driving distances, are insurmountable barriers to the transition. Additionally, the weight of lithium-ion batteries tend to make electric vehicles heavier than ICE vehicles. In summary, graphene batteries offer significant advantages over traditional lithium-ion batteries, but they're still in the early stages of development. Although some companies have made progress in developing the technology, there are still significant challenges that needed to be overcome before it can become mainstream. Would graphene prove to be a miracle material that could revolutionize the EV battery industry? We hope this video provided you with a sense of relaxation. If it resonated with you, kindly show your support by liking the video and joining the Tesla Car World family through subscribing to our channel. Be sure you don't miss out on any of our fantastic content by hitting that bell icon. Your feedback and time are immensely appreciated. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you soon. Until then, stay safe and enjoy life.